Hey, your butt looks like the sky. Pretty cool, lady. I'm Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Ed. Please, stop. Thanks for... For what you did before. For confronting the sheriff. Are you all right? You know I'm not. Please help me. When the sheriff walked in, you were about to tell me something. Don't leave me hanging. I'm still missing a piece of the puzzle. Just one. Give me that piece and I'll tell you everything without the fear of hurting you anymore. Before your childhood accident, all days, maybe weeks earlier, if that's what I think it is, something your father told you about your mother, or the other way around. Something that made you take sides. Ah, uh, um, I think I might have something for you. Um, I, th I think, yeah. It was the weekend before the accident. I was completely obsessed with this sea shanty. Well, more than the actual shanty, I had a thing with this verse. I don't even know why. What verse was it? What did it say? Man, the song just keeps going on and on. Kid, just wait till you get older and the pixies get on the scene. Things are going to be way better. <laughs> Can I leave the song? No grog allowed? What kind of shit pirate vessel is this? No, I don't want to replay anything. Can I just let them all run out so I don't have to listen to it anymore? This is the reason our father drove the car up towards the cliff. So we didn't have to hear his kid's music anymore. But Dad, don't you want to hear the Lever song again for the 80th time? No, I don't want to do any of this. This is game hell. I don't want to rewind to the beginning. I don't want to listen to it again. Save me! Someone save me! Oh, thank God. No! How does that work on a tape player? Tape players don't automatically loop? Fine, I'll rewind to the beginning. Uh. No! No! Can we go back?
back to abuse him, Dad? I would play the same verse over and over. Why that particular verse? I don't know. Maybe because it was Saturday, and I got my allowance on Sundays. That baby's harsh in my jam! Thank you, baby! Save me! I gotta go check on Jenny! Please leave this behind, kid. Thank God. God bless you, child. <laughs> Where's my red um, action figure of my pirates? I only see blue and green. My dad was crying, weird. You goose stepping, did you become a Nazi dad? Cause that's not cool. Special Agent Miller, I have an extremely important mission for you. Yeah, yes sir. Yes, sir, Colonel. That's the spirit, Special Agent Miller. As you may well know, we're in the midst of a cold war with our worst enemy. The Russians. Not exactly. Remember that there are good Russians, too. Our worst enemy is the KGB. Several of their agents have placed three nuclear bombs in one of our top secret submarine bases. Three? That seems like overkill. I'll go defuse them myself on my pirate ship, sir. Nonsense. Only an agent with my experience and training can succeed under these circumstances. But didn't you say you had a mission for me? And I do, Special Agent Miller. And that it was super important? And it is, Special Agent Miller. How important do you think it is to protect the First Lady? Uh, not as important as bombs, come on. The bomb thing sounds way more important and cooler. Don't be fooled, Special Agent Miller. Nothing is more important than the First Lady. And who are we protecting her from, sir? That's what we need to find out. Precisely that. There's a double agent among us. A traitor. Is that our dad or his imagination? It'd be, that'd be the meanest way for a dad to abandon a child. While I'm away on my mission at the top secret submarine base, and I deactivate one, two, even three bombs, you will become the First Lady Shadow. Follow her wherever she goes, but keep a low profile. Make sure to document any suspicious activity that might help us identify the traitor. And remember, it could be someone close to the First Lady. Sir, yes sir. Good luck, Special Agent Miller. The country's in your hands. Try to blend in, follow her at a safe distance, find a mini spy camera, take pictures, expose the double agent. I wanna play video games on my CRT TV over here. All right, let's get my little camera from before, my Polaroid. All right, I needed to do something else. So we need to take pictures. Do we need anything else in the room? I don't think so. Well, you know what? Let's take some friends for the road. Where's the other one? Is she having an affair with Red Pirate? Oh, I hope not. It's okay, sweetie. Mom's doing overalls. Lieutenant Flanagan, do you copy? I do, sir, just like you ordered. Do you have a visual of the presidential suite? Loud and clear, sir. Good. Let me know when she exits and heads towards the conference center. I can't risk her seeing me. <gasps> Darn it, Flanagan. I told you to inform me if she left the presidential suite. Dang it, Flanagan, how can you fuck up? She's in the dining hall. Follow her and hide. Alright, uh, game, let me have control. We gotta go spy on Mom. Let's hope she's not having an affair. Claire, how are you? 
No, your brother just left to get groceries. Oh, she's just precious. Yes, she gets plenty of air. I'm making dinner now, but in about 15 minutes, I'll, I'll take her outside and we'll go to the lookout by the lake. Yes, the lake that's by my house. How would that be dangerous? Don't worry, I won't let her get close to the railing. We'll just sit on a bench. Okay, I'll definitely tell him you called when he gets back. Hello, little sister. How are you doing? Were you working for the KGB, baby? KG, baby? Hmm. Dirty business, I see. I have a feeling things are about to get dirty around here. Flanagan, I told you to search the presidential suite for microphones, didn't I? And so I did, sir. But there weren't any. Do me a favor. Schedule an appointment with the CIA eye doctor, will you? Yes, sir. For who? Just do it. Hmm. Secret communications from that baby? Who do you answer to in Moscow, baby Jenny? Hmm. I need more information. This was disturbingly close to home. In my own family. Well, we still gotta try and blend in, follow her to safe distances, and take pictures. And then he spies in here. Yes, put that on your face, kiddo. <laughs> that will be. They'll never suspect a thing. I'm just trying out for the Detroit Lions, Mama! Hmm. There's still something missing. Ooh, look at these fancy boys with their fancy uh, bathing stuff. What's going on outside? The outside exists today. <laughs> All right, little sister Jenny, if that's your real name. Hmm, probably Natasha. I'm gonna go check on mother. Jenny! <gasps> no! My little sweet pea. Come on, sweetie. Time to wakey-wakey. Who wants to go see the lake views? Come on, don't be a little sleepyhead. Or your Aunt Claire will never let us hear the end of it. You'll see. Such a beautiful day out there. And when we get back, you'll have your bottle. You like that, <gasps> don't you? Close call. What about me, Mom? You could have invited me to come hang out. I mean, I'm doing much too cool stuff, but... Sir, I scheduled that appointment with the eye doctor. Um, okay. Oh, I'm gonna see All if we have right. any juicy blue Good yet. Token. Yeah. Always glad to help, sir. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I swear. I don't know why certain people are even born. Are you following the first lady, sir? Not yet. I need my camo helmet first, but I can't find it. Oh, I washed it for you, sir. I left it in the hangar. By the tanks and motorcycles. Uh, you mean in the garage, Flanagan? Alright. I know I'm not supposed to be in here, but I do nothing but go in here. Uh, where's my helmet? There we go. I like how the bike is mostly functional now, which when we look back at it, it probably won't be. Flawless design brought to you by our chief engineer, Captain Samuel Franklin. Although, why is there no jungle camouflage on my jungle camouflage helmet, Flanagan? I removed it, sir. It was not aerodynamic, sir. <sighs> I'm starting to think Little Ed is not a good spy. Putting on a bright orangish helmet is not probably going to help you when you're chasing somebody. But whatever, man.
another great fix by our chief engineer, Captain Samuel Franklin. All right, let's head on out there. Any updates on the First Lady's position, Finnegan? She crossed the Yellow Flowers track, and she's now in the lookout. So we knew Samuel when we were a little kid. Interesting. And he fixed our bike when our father won it. Can I run? Oh, there's a run button. Look at me go like the wind. I am the world's fastest runner. I can't get any closer without jungle camouflage on my oh jungle my. camouflage helmet. Uh. Our parents must think that we're mighty special. You can at least see why Ed has uh, such a good imagination for writing, even if he is a bit of a douchebag. Well, adult Ed is a douchey. Oh no, I don't want to see mom feed the baby. It's no my piece. Way. Yes, sir. The double agent is manipulating the first lady. She's setting us up. Sir, she stole a microchip from my safe and is accusing me of leaving it for the KGB to find, and the First Lady's buying it. Now, if that's not suspicious activity. How far can I go? Oh, this is all the more I can go. Now I know what you did. That's my action figure. Give it back, little kid. It's actually a cute picture. <laughs> well, and uh, that's all, I guess. Hmm. Shall we? Time to ruin my memories and show me how shit it really was. <laughs> That bike better be good. That's the one thing that matters. No, I don't want to hear the song again. Please no. Please no. I've had enough. You hear me? Enough. You've had enough. You've had enough. I've had enough of you. Enough. Fucking now. Well, I am fucking done with you. All your dick. I hate you. I can't stand you. How do you have the nerve to say that? The fucking nerve. Do you hear yourself? Oh, I could have left you years ago. All right, now I see why he likes the song. Lieutenant Flanagan, we have new mission. A KGB agent has infiltrated the presidential palace with a single goal, to drive a wedge between the president and the first lady, putting an end to a vital, long-standing alliance. But we won't let the KGB get away with it. We will unmask the traitor and save our nation. Uh, do we need to get our camera again for this much more depressing mission? Camera check. Camera can't see the sadness inside. <laughs> Woo, I like kicking. I like kicking all day long. I kick everything. All right, little kid, let's learn about your dysfunction. What do we got in here? Ed's own dysfunction. Um, 
I know you found the missing figurine, after all. Mom will give it to me later. She'll be a bit angry. Why is she gonna be mad? The kids lose shit all the time, man. That's just how life is. You weren't obsessed with an entire verse, were you? Only with one sentence. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Maybe. Oh man, I didn't notice that pirate ship picture on the wall before. That thing is sweet. Kid, your life's going pretty good. Look at that sweet painting. Or whatever. Why don't you trust your sister, Jenny? Because she takes up all of Mom's attention, and then she can't be with me or with Dad, and then Dad gets mad. <sighs> Alright, what else we got? Children of the Corn shit right there? Who's this fucker? It's so bad. Wait, it's the cop! Was the cop fucking my mom? Is that why he was so sad when she died? That baby's got a dead look in its, its eyes. Yeah, this is all wrong, kid. All wrong. Y your mother whoring around with the police? I called it from the beginning. She always was a whore. And with the police of all things. She really does want to get fucked by the state. Get a picture there, little Eddie. Nothing but corruption. Of oh, God. That's going to be a rough day when daddy sees that. <laughs> so why was the cop trying to bust our balls then? What did you think when the police officer arrived, Eddie? That he was going to arrest someone for misbehaving. I hope we gave him that big old scar he has in the future. Was he gonna arrest my baby sister for being a KGB agent? Yeah, or I, I don't know. Oh, he's back. Uh, what else we got? There doesn't seem to be a lot. Can we go see ourselves? Hey, kiddo, I'm sorry that your life was so fucked up. Why are you taking those pictures, Ed? Because things just used to be better. He wants some. You can see it. Gross. Yeah, you baby. Baby's like, whore. Baby. Slut. <laughs> That's right, baby. Judge them. Judge them all for their sinful ways. Yeah, they ought to give you a TV show, Judge Baby. And you're doing it by my figurine? Oh, Red Pirate, why did you have to see this? How did Jenny get a hold of that figurine? Sometimes, Dad sleeps in Mom and Dad's room in the morning or in the afternoon. And mom comes and changes Jenny's diaper on my bed. So I go outside to play. Nasty, nasty whores. What did you think right there, Eddie? That Jenny isn't bad. It's the police officer that's bad. Well, we saw some reveals I didn't want to see. Aye, aye, aye. 